On February 10, 1996, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the famous Russian chess player and world champion at the time, Garry Kasparov, was playing a chess match against a computer called Deep Blue developed by IBM Company. Although this match was not the first match of the world champion against the computer, but it was a hinge point in the history of the game, being the first time that the world champion in chess lose against a computer that depends entirely on artificial intelligence. In Deep Thinking Book, Kasparov takes us on a journey through the history and the future of artificial intelligence, chess, and computers. Kasparov was inspired by his experience in the many chess games he played against computers in the 1990s. And how computers were unable to defeat him for a period of time, then it gradually developed until Deep Blue Device managed to turn the tables in the mid-1990s. Deep Thinking by Gary Kasparov In fact, attempts of computer programmers to invent a device that can beat humans in the game of chess began since the mid-50s of last year, when a group of programmers at Los Alamos Laboratories in New Mexico developed a computer called the Maniac One, in 1965. And like other computers at that time, the Maniac One was the size of a classroom and weighed about 450 kilograms. However, the device's limited memory capacity was the main reason why it lost to experienced chess players. However, that didn't stop the Maniac One from beating some starting players, giving programmers the promising signs that AI could beat the human brain even in complex mental skills. Since then, computers have continued to develop, by doubling speeds and memory capacity. This can be explained by Moore's law which states that the speed of computers processors doubles continuously approximately every two years. By 1977, with the development of chess softwares, the machines were able to compete with the top class of game professionals, estimated at the top 5% of those who were playing the game at that time. But to remember, the struggle between chess professionals and artificial intelligence machines raged in the 80s and 90s, until Deep Blue defeated Kasparov and announced the beginning of the era of artificial intelligence at full strength. By telling the story of the challenge that was going on between the machine and the human in the chess game, Kasparov draws our attention that there are many functions, tasks and daily mental skills in which the machines are superior to humans. Nowadays, it is not difficult for us to imagine the disappearance of the profession of cashier in the supermarket, as we see with our own eyes how self-payment machines began to sweep through the stores in many cities. And the matter is not limited to the sales sector only, we see how machines and artificial intelligence systems began to sweep through many jobs, especially in the service sector. When the Industrial Revolution began, its focus was on replacing human workers in the agricultural and industrial sectors, as machines became more efficient than humans and animals in performing tasks that require high physical effort. And then the Industrial Revolution moved from focusing on heavy equipment, to manufacturing precision engineering machines, and therefore replaced the humans who were working in the field of precision industries such as electronic chips, fancy watches and even jewelry, and even replaced many jobs in the medical sector and scientific laboratories due to their extreme accuracy compared to the physical ability of humans. The last waves of this industrial revolution will target the service sector, such as travel offices, banks and government institutions, and with the dawn of the internet era, computers are able to access a huge amount of information within a few seconds, with greater accuracy and less time than the most skilled employees, so most bank tellers and employees of tourist services found themselves under great threat from being replaced by smart computers. There is no doubt that the Industrial Revolution will continue the path that it started in the past, and it will not be long before we see machines replacing the most difficult jobs that humans currently perform, such as medicine, law, corporate management, and even formulating policies and lawmaking. All of this does not mean that humans have become useless or that they are heading to isolation from the labor market. On the contrary, 
Man has proven throughout the ages that he can adapt to technological developments to harness machines and turn himself into new types of technological and service jobs as soon as they appear. But to remember, throughout the Industrial Revolution, machines competed humans in many functions, starting with the physical ones and ending with the mental ones. The secrets of chess superiority don't lie only in mental skill, or in the strategies that the player put to beat his opponent. According to Kasparov, chess is in fact a psychological game, which depends largely on the factor of nervous exhaustion of the opponent. In his book My Great Predecessors, Kasparov summarized most of his analysis of the most famous chess players who preceded him, and although he admitted that they were among the best who have passed in the history of the game, he proved that they had committed serious strategical and tactical mistakes in many games, and the reason for this was due to the factors of anxiety, psychological pressure and mental exhaustion. Therefore, the most prominent chess players were not only relying on developing mental strategies, but they were making moves and steps, the aim of which was to destabilize the opponent's confidence, even if the steps did not mean much from the strategic point of view of the chess game. On the contrary, when we change the opponent from a human with emotions and feelings, to an artificial intelligence machine, we completely eliminate the factor of exhaustion and psychological pressure, and therefore the chess game becomes a purely strategic game from the point of view of the machine. Whatever the extent of the psychological pressure surrounding the conditions of the game, this does not affect even in a small way the level of performance of the machine in the game. But to remember, the factors of psychological stress and mental exhaustion are absent in artificial intelligence machines, which gives them a precedent over human capabilities in performing many functions that require a strong mental presence. In the book Outliers Malcolm Gladwell explained to us the 10,000-hour rule, which states that in order for a person to become exceptional in a particular skill, he must practice it for a period of at least 10,000 hours. There is no doubt that this concept is only for humans, and not for the artificial intelligence machines, which do not need a long time to master a certain mental skill. The ability of computers to analyze huge amounts of data enables them to acquire greater skills faster and more accurately than humans. Donald Mishy, a British researcher in the field of artificial intelligence was a pioneer in the field of machine learning in the 1960s. He was one of the first who relied on providing computers with huge amounts of data for analysis, and then computers established basic principles for themselves to work and implement tasks based on huge databases. This was through an experiment he conducted by providing the computer with a huge database of the movements of the game EXO, or as it is known as tic-tac-toe. One of the most prominent examples of machine learning today lies in modern translation programs such as Google Translate. If we look at the way these systems work, we find that in fact they do not have a storage of languages that were previously stored by the programmers of the system. But in fact, electronic translation systems are programmed by providing them with millions of sentences that have been translated by people into several international languages, and based on these human translations, the system collects the best possible translation of the sentence that you type in the input box. And since these artificial intelligence machines rely on a huge amount of data that may be true or false at some times, there is no doubt that they will make mistakes that may seem trivial at times. Whether through Google translations that may not convey the general idea of the text, or through wrong moves in a chess game. But to remember, Machine learning mainly depends on the amount of data that are supplied to artificial intelligence machines, despite this, these systems still make obvious mistakes. <laughs>